you're setting up your course in Brightspace for the first time and have had difficulty editing the teacher profile widget, stick around because I've got a solution. In this Brightspace tutorial, I wanted to deal with a problem that people are having. It seems to be a common problem of editing the teacher profile widget on the home page in Brightspace. And when I say common, I know I've had the problem and I know other people that have had the problem as well. I've spent time on the phone with tech support over at Brightspace and they've given me a few tips which I'm going to pass along to you. But in the end, I actually had to come up with my own fix. So if you're interested, stick around. I'll show you what worked for me. Maybe it'll work for you as well. So why don't we go ahead and take a look and I'll show you how I did it. What you're looking at right now is an empty shell that I'm just going to modify. This is the home page. That's the default home page on Brightspace. And I'm going to go right down and show you what the teacher profile uh, widget looks like. It's this one right here. It says teacher profile and in the middle it says instructor profile, mic instructor with no picture and then a little about me section. Okay. And if you'll notice, this is actually where you would go to edit the teacher profile. Now when you click on the drop down arrow here, you're going to hopefully see an edit option. But when we go here, notice we don't have an option to edit. Simply collapse the widget, which not something we want to do. We want to figure out how to edit this. So what I'm going to need to do, first of all, is create for myself a brand new home page. So let's go up to Course Tools, click on Course Tools, hit Course Administration, which should be the first option in there, depending on how it's set up. And when we go in there at the very top, Site Setup, you're going to see Home Pages. I want you to click on Home Pages. And what we need to do is create a home page. Right now, I'm just going to name that home page Test, because that's all we're going to do is we're going to make a temporary home page to play with. Uh, it is a widget based type and we're going to scroll down to where we see the layout. I want to change the layout just because I think it's going to be a little bit easier to see what we're doing if we have a little bit of a different layout. So I'm going to select the layout that includes a large right hand side panel. This is kind of the one that I like for my courses and I'm going to add that. Scroll down and this is the layout of the page. I could add widgets to any of those sections of my page. I'm just going to go ahead and add it to this right hand section, kind of like on the default home page that we just looked at. So once I click on, and I'll do that one more time so you can see, once I click on add widgets, it's going to open up an option of different built in system widgets. And I'm just going to scroll down through the system widgets until I find teacher profile. Click on teacher profile and I'm going to add that. Now this is going to be the only widget that appears on this home page. So let's just save that, close it. Now the very last thing I need to do is actually make that new home page my active home page. So I'm going to go back to the active home page tab up here, open it up and find the test home page that I just added. Click on test, click on apply, and now it should be ready to go. So I'll go back to the course home and it looks like this. That's the only widget that's there, so there it is uh, located for me. Now I'm going to go back up to that drop down arrow and take a look this time. And it should give me now, yes, the option not only to style the widget, but also to edit the widget. Now, if everything's working the way it should, I should be able to go in here and I should be able to edit something. But every once in a while, another problem will emerge. So let's just test it and see how it works. I'm going to hit edit and exactly what I expected. It says not authorized, error, not authorized, and it gives you this little warning message. So now what am I supposed to do? Well, let's back up and let's change a few things. I'm going to go back up now to course tools one more time, course administ administration, and I'm going to go to the widgets tab, which is right next to home pages right here. Click on widgets and I've got a list of the custom widgets and I can find teacher profile listed right there. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to copy it. So I've got a few options at the end. This middle one says copy teacher profile, which I will do. Let's do that right now with a simple click. And it has added teacher profile copy right below the teacher profile. Now I can go in here now and edit some things. You can't edit these custom widgets that are built in, but I can edit the copy. So I'm just going to go to this little pen icon, edit teacher profile, go ahead and click that. And I can name it whatever I want to name it. Let's just actually name it instructor profile. And let's just get rid of the copy portion of it. And I think that's all I need at the moment. Let's just save it close it 
And now I'm going to go back to my home pages because I'm going to change the widget that's currently there. So let's go back to the test home page. Let's go down to the widgets area. And this time I'm going to delete the teacher widget and I'm going to add my new instructor widget, which should show up in the list. So I'm going to scroll down oops, until I find instructor profile. Click on that and I'm going to add that in its place. All right, now the instructor profile has replaced the teacher profile. I'm going to save. I'm going to close. I'm going to go back to the home page. And yes, now I see instructor profile widget. Let's go in this time to edit the widget. And exactly, we don't have the error anymore. Now I'm able to actually edit the widget. Now, things should be good. Let's go to the content and see how we can actually edit what shows up in that widget itself. So we go from properties over to the last tab, content. And what we're gonna see is basically a template. Now, I'm gonna make that a little bit larger so we can see what it looks like. This is a potential third problem that you might run into, trying to load the template where you could actually edit information and put your information in. I was actually on with tech support at Brightspace for a long time trying to resolve this problem. We couldn't seem to do it, which is why I had to come up with my own workaround, which is what I'm going to show you right now. I could sit here all day. This may not stop happening. So I decided rather than just edit the teacher profile or the instructor profile that they give me, I'm going to come up with my own template and I'm just going to replace this template with what I'd like to have. So here's how I can do that. It's very difficult to click on this and delete it, but what we can do is go down right here to the HTML editor. I'm going to open up the HTML editor and you have all this code inside. And what I want to do is just highlight all of that code and delete it, save it. And now I've got a blank slate in order to create my instructor profile. Now, there are different ways you can create your instructor profile. You could use programs like Photoshop from Adobe, or you could use something a little bit easier. So this is a site that I would recommend using. It's pretty user-friendly, it's free, it's called Canva, and it's got templates for all kinds of different things from business logos to business cards to posters to banners for YouTube, and on and on it goes. And you can kind of explore and find different types of things. Uh, right now, let's just go ahead and take a real quick look at the resume tab. Um, I actually use the resume template when I design my instructor profile and you can just see by clicking on there that they've got all kinds of different designs for templates which include a place for your photo. Okay, so you could go in, select a template, modify it however you like, add your photo, change the color, put in your text, save it in different formats. Really, really useful site, but like I said, I don't need to go there right now because I've already um, made my template. So let's go back over to Brightspace and take a look. Okay, now that I have a template in mind actually stored on my computer, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the widget content section in Brightspace. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the Add Stuff button right here. Click on Add Stuff. I'm going to go ahead. I've already uploaded the file, so I'm just going to go to Course Offering Files right here in Brightspace. And I'll see the instructor profile, which I have uploaded actually several times. Click on that. Hit Next. Add a very quick link text. I'll just call it again test and do the same thing for the alternative text. Um, lock the aspect ratio. I'm going to go ahead and insert my graphic and it's as creative as you want it to be. And I'm going to need to unclick render in iframe. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. Now I'm going to go down save and close. I'm going to head back to my course home and see how this looks. And there we have it. We've got the new instructor profile. It's got my picture. It's got a little bit of a graphic. I'm a huge Batman fan, as most of you know. So I included a few things just to personalize it slightly, but of course you don't have to do anything like that. This might be a little you know, too much for some people, but um, a little bit about me, a little bit about my um, background as a teacher, and of course my contact information, which you don't want to forget as an instructor. Your students should always be able to get in touch with you. And there we have it. It's not that difficult. I mean, that might be something that works for you if you want to go that round. It's totally up to you what you do. And if you have a better idea, feel free to share it in the comment section below. And as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on anything new. And again, thanks for watching.